Hi, my name is Maritza Lakai, and I'm the curatorial assistant here at PAM. And we're standing in front of Ebony G. Patterson's While the Dew is Still on the Roses. And what you hear is the sounds of the exhibition itself and of one of the videos featured in the show. My name is Tobias Ostrenner, and I'm the chief curator and deputy director here at the Paris Art Museum Miami. We're in this immersive environment that's been created by the artist Ebony G. Patterson. This is a show that not only functions as a survey of Ebony Patterson's work, but it also serves as its own installation. It's, it feels like a night garden scene when you go in, so the lights are a little bit lower, and when you walk in, you feel like you're in this kind of beautiful trap. You're gonna see glitter, and you're gonna see flowers, and you're gonna see some dim lighting, so it's, it's a really, really spectacular show. What makes this exhibit stand out is, is really the seductive quality of, of um, Ebony's work. There's all this glitter and shiny objects and decorative floral patterns that really suck the viewer into this um, sensual experience. I think what makes this exhibition stand out is the visitor experience. People come in here, they don't really know what to expect, and even from the, from the very entrance of the show, you can tell that you're in for something completely different. Fun fact, Ebony Patterson purchases her tapestries from Walmart, uh, which is a service that I did not know existed. But what she does is she sends in a photo, and then she receives the tapestry, and then she manipulates it to create the final products that you see in the exhibition. I'm sure a lot of artists get their, their, their materials from Walmart or reference that, and, um, and I just think it's interesting. It's, um, you know, how you can transform something very everyday and even kitsch or banal or something into something that's spectacularly beautiful. I would highly recommend that people come to PAM to check out While the Dew is Still on the Roses. It's an incredible exhibition and it's unlike anything that we've done before.